Hey, my grubbies, time to grow a tree. Dab on, dab on, dab on, dab on, dab on, dab on. Hey, guys, coming to y'all with another video, okay? Another awesome video. Today, we are having some more B Love Sauce. Y'all, this is my leftover B Love Sauce, but I added something special to it. Something good, okay? Something that a lot of people don't eat, but I do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so I added to it today some of these awesome pig feet, y'all. Look at that. I wanted to wait some. <gasps> yes! If y'all have never had pig feet, y'all missing out. Okay. Now... B loves herself has told me on um, one of my lives a while back I was doing some pig feet or some pigtails and she was like no <laughs> she don't do it okay but I put it in this sauce because I love them and they're so good y'all look at one look at that pig feet mm. y'all they have meat on here mm. Mm. and I just knew it was gonna be good in this B love sauce mm. some good old not pigtails pig feet. I hope I said the right thing because I ain't starting this video over. Got me some awesome cauliflower rice on the side, y'all. I got three big old fat, big old fat, 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 juicy pig feet in here. It's time to grab y'all. Who ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Got my spoon to put a little sauce on my rice. I need a little rice with it. Oh, God. Let's get this mukbang started, but first, <laughs> we got to give God some glory. Is I want to try it. Okay. No, no, no. No, no, no. Mm -mm. Don't get me looking all cockeyed. Okay. Back to the video. All right. So first, I want to give God some glory, y'all. Dear Lord, in the name of Jesus, cover this food with your blood, Lord. May it bring nutrition to my body, Lord. Oh, I ask you, Lord, to keep all of yours today. Covered in the fruits of the Spirit, Lord. Let them have an awesome day, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen, y'all. Let's eat. First off, though, let me say something real quick. If you're new to this channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, okay? Become part of the Grub family. Hashtag Grub family. Yes, y'all. If you're new and you're trying to, if you're new and you have subscribed, hit that notification bell for you can be notified when I upload all my new videos. Okay? Okay. Share this video for all everybody can see what your girl is doing over here on Time to Grow with Streets. Okay? Also, follow me on all my social medias. Okay? It's um Time to Grow with Streets on all of them. Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, and Instagram. Time to grow up with Cherise. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, okay? Follow me. Don't follow me. Follow me. Don't follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Anyway, let's eat, okay? I am ready to grub. All right, let's get into it. So, y'all, these pig feet are so good. I know it's going to be a hot mess. Some people don't like messy. Some people don't like savage. Some people don't like it. If you don't like it, not being rude, because I don't want you to just be miserable the whole time while you're watching somebody just eat like a sloppy, sloppy, messy, savage, you know? All right, anyway, let me put some of this on this rice, y'all. <laughs> yes, baby, yes. <laughs> Come through. Oh, my God, yes, that look good. Oh, Jesus. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. Yeah, I ain't... Uh, this is so good. All right, let's get into one of these pig feet. Yeah, look at that, y'all. Now they have bones, big old fat bones. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm-hmm. And some little bones. Mmm. Mm. Mm. But it's good. Mmm. I knew it was gonna be good in this sauce. Mm, how'd I know? I just knew. Mm. Mm. I knew it, y'all. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Y'all, these pigs be good. Mm. 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 
Mm. Yes, come through. Okay. While well, I'm slapping on this, no, I'm stop. <laughs> Y'all know, <coughs> you know, people are so critiquing, criticizing, whatever. They don't bother me nothing, though. So, today I'm going to be doing a story time. Mm hmm As well as just talking about relationships, okay? I did a live before I recorded this. And Karen Thomas, shout out to Karen Thomas. She replied when I said, what subject should I talk about? Relationships. And honey, I can talk about some relationships because I done been through, okay? Mm-hmm. Yes, I have. Mm-hmm. I have been through. I have been through the water, okay? Yes, I have. Mm. Mm. That's good. That's good. Mm hmm. Let's see. Mm. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> mm. 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 Yes. Okay, I wore this shirt on purpose. Because I knew I was going to get sauce on it. Yeah. But it's okay. Mmm. 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 Sauce is everywhere. Saucing. You want to be saucy. Saucing. Mmm. It's so good with it. <laughs> it's good. Mm. Okay. You know, every relationship, y'all, gonna have its ups and downs, okay? When I started my relationship with my hubby, no, we were both not, you know, saved into church or nothing like that. So we lived a life that was crazy. Mm -hmm. A lot of jealousy, a lot of fighting, a lot of fussing. You know what I'm saying? And you can't live your life like that. Mm -mm. You know it's a trip though? I know a couple that has been together for 50,000 years, y'all. They still together to this day. And I was young, and they used to be fighting and tearing up stuff and doing all kinds of breaking windows, throwing each other through windows, all kind of crazy stuff. And they still together. To this day. But see, I knew that that wasn't for me, though. You know what I'm saying? Mmm. Mmm. That was good, y'all. Let me show y'all up closer. Pig feet. This one might fall apart. They fall apart tender. <laughs> I get it, y'all. But I knew that it wasn't for me. Because it didn't have so many ups and downs and stuff. It had to be a change or it wasn't going to be nothing. So, as far as relationships go, of course you want to be in the best caring, loving type of relationship. But they don't all be like that. Let's keep it real and funky up in here, okay? Uh, they don't always be like that. But the start of a relationship, let me tell y'all, it's 2019, ain't nothing new. I'm nothing up new in this cut. Ain't nothing new. Um, let me tell y'all something. Uh, hold on. All right, it's hot. Mmm. Ain't nothing new in relationships, okay? Ain't nothing new in 2019 that it wasn't in 1995, okay? Mm-hmm. They start out peachy king. Mine did. And then it transformed. And you know what really kind of made it transform the most? My eye is really acting a fool today, y'all. Sorry. If it's all over the place, you know, it want to do its own thing. Look at that bug eye. But anyway... Mm-hmm. Mm. 
they always start out good. But then, <sighs> jealousy is stepping in. Mm-hmm. Jealousy. Mm. Jealousy, number one. You know? Uh, not trusting somebody. Mm. And it's so weird how mm, mm, in a relationship things seem to change, but then some people just stick with the person. Now I notice that nowadays some of these young women they don't put up with much, and that's a good thing. They'll quickly let you go, but when I was coming up, it was more like. Mm. You kind of held on to stuff. Mm hmm. And tried to make it work. I think I'm still like that to this day. You know what I'm saying? Even though me and my husband, we are stable in our relationship. Mm hmm. But we went through. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We went through. We sure did. Mm hmm. We went through the fire and came out. Mm -hmm. mm. Let me tell y'all. Mm. 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 Let me tell y'all. <sighs> One time, let me tell y'all a quick little story time on this relationship thing. I'm just saying this about relationships real quick since she's talking about relationships. Relationships start one way and then they transform to the real you because you're going to have some hidden secrets. You're going to have some hidden stuff that you don't let come out until you know or think you got the person. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> mm -hmm. Am I lying? Mm. Okay, you let the real you come out. The real me, okay? You let it come out. And that's when the problems start. Mm-hmm. Because jealousy, uh, control, all those type of issues will have you plump stone crazy, okay? Well, me and my husband, we've been together for a long time now. Probably about, this had to be our first year together, Okay. And, yeah, I'm telling y'all a story about me and him. Okay? I'm sure I am. Mm. Mm. Okay? I'm going to keep it short and to the point. So, I won't be before y'all long. No. Let me stop. <laughs> I'm giving a testimony. No. But we had been in a race for about a year. And we had started to get where we were. Jealous and, like... Uh, fighting with each other and all kind of other stuff. Like, not really fighting, but like, we get in each other's face really bad and want to fuss. And I had been through all that and I didn't want to go through that again, you know what I'm saying? But we started to get where we was together, you know, we was together all the time and jealousy and thinking that I was with somebody else, he was with somebody else. That type of stuff had stepped in. So it wasn't as fun as it used to be, you know? Mm hmm. Mm. So. We have been fussing all day on the phone. Fussing, fussing, fussing. And he wanted to know what I was doing, who I was doing it with. And I was saying he was doing this and that. You know, that's what, how I get. So, he was like, I'm coming over there. And I was like, no, you ain't coming over here. Don't come to my house. And so, of course, he came anyway. Y'all excuse me. My allergies, my sinus. All that is acting up. Mm -hmm. So, of course, he came anyway. Beating on the door, beating on the door, beating on the door, beating on the door. Beating on the door. So, I'm about behind the door. I'm in the house like, you ain't coming in. So, he's still like, beating on the door, beating on the door. So, I want to be this big baddie. And I want to go to the kitchen window. Got the screen on the window and everything. So, we open up the window. 
And I'm like, you ain't coming in here. We over with. Who in there? Well, he said, he said, who in there? Who you got in there? What's going on? And I'm like, ain't nobody in here. You know what I'm saying? And he kept saying, who in there? Who in there? And I was like, uh, ain't nobody in here. He was like, you know what? That's why me and you, we're going to be over with. I'm going to live with who, 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 who done it. And why? Whoop the whoop, whoop the whoop. Like Vicky Wall. <laughs> She's like, whoop the whoop, whoop the whoop. <laughs> Whoop de woo, you know what I'm saying, or whatever she said, you know what I'm saying. And so he was like, and I said, Oh, you are? That's why I got Bunk Bunk in here. Don't know what name I said, but you know that's what jealousy do. That's how relationships are when you are not a healthy relationship, okay? That's what I'm talking about, unhealthy relationships right now. Even though I'm just talking about relationships, of course, I started there and now I'm here and then I'm gonna go over here, okay? That's how I do, but. So, whoop de whoop whoop whoop. So he was like, oh, you got somebody in there? Open that door, open that door. I was like, no, I ain't open up, no, down. Mm-hmm. You gonna live with who? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, bad to go. So now we're both in the screen, though. In the screen, over the window. Okay? So I was like, I ain't doing nothing. So I just closed the window. I closed the window. He was like, beating on the the glass and everything took the screen off i was like i'm in the window like this <laughs> and honey next thing you know up through the screen comes a fist boom and i jumped back through the glass shall i say and he punched and when he punched through that glass and he yanked his arm back through it ripped everything out <laughs> and blood started pouring <laughs> Y'all, this is the crazy relationships, the crazy part, okay? Jealousy in a relationship is the downfall. So as soon as I was like that, I was like, oh my God, and everything. So I go out the front door from the kitchen, and uh, then I let him, you know, I bring him in. He holds his own like this, meat hanging, and I dial 911. I have to call 911 to get him. Uh, ambulance because now he could bleed to death and of course just like anybody uh he comes in i don't even know if he was still looking as soon as he wasn't there because period poo nobody was in there okay and then after that call the ambulance they come you don't know what happened punch the window whatever we end up going to the hospital together end up coming home together to my house and we were together but jealousy Wanting to know what the other person is doing, especially in a first relationship, is such a downfall. You know what I'm saying? So to keep relationships good, you have to try to compromise. You know what I'm saying? As we got older, we learned how to compromise with each other. And now we've been together for, uh, how long have we been together? Oh, 16 years almost in February. And we've been married for 11 years. Uh, so, we've been together a long time. But that's just one of the incidents where... Jealousy drove us in our relationship to do stupid things and end up, well, he had to end up getting stitches and everything. Thank God nothing else happened. You know what I'm saying? Praise the Lord. But I'm giving this advice about relationships. If you really feel, whatever you're feeling that like your mate is doing something, now don't get me wrong, sometimes it do be true. Because some of the mate, some of these people are good at cheating. I was kind of good at cheating. I'm not going to even lie. Uh, nothing to brag about, but thank God for Jesus, okay? Uh, if you feel a certain type of way just a little bit, don't really react to it till you get, like, hard evidence. Because when you bring that jealousy into the relationship, it, it kind of can bring other things in and destroy what you have. When it could be the enemy just trying to put something in your eyes when it could not, it could be nothing there. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people think people cheating and they end up getting into these big old spats which drives a person to someone else. So you don't want to do that. But jealousy, that's a serious demon, okay? In a relationship, okay? Relationships, you're going to have ups and downs already. You don't need no extra stuff. So, you know, sometimes it's best to try to leave that thing over there, okay? And, y'all, these pig feet are so good. I'm full. I don't even know how to eat nourish. I know I don't eat that much. But I wanted to come and give y'all some uh, little story time slash uh, 
advice slash I don't know what I don't know what the crap I was saying. But anyway, y'all know I'll be all over the place when I do these videos because I just be speaking from the heart. <laughs> and as women, let me tell y'all something. As a woman, jealousy is something that will drive you insane. Can I get a hallelujah or amen? If you're still watching, that when we get when we get jealous as women, we might do a little too much of something, something, something. We might do a little something, something. That just ain't right, okay? So, I'm going to leave it at that. Bind the jealousy in a relationship. Keep your relationship open. Compromise. Listen. Look for the signs. No, I'm playing. <laughs> Love y'all so much, okay? Always remember to what? Dab on your haters, okay? Like, dab. And spark on them. And I will see y'all when the next time it's time to grow. Bye, y'all.